up world it's your girl need to be back with another video as y'all can see what today is by the thumbnail and the title y'all already know we back with another cooking video so if y'all like this type of content and y'all ain't subscribed yet go on hit that subscribe button turn the post notification bells on and go on thumb up this video real quick y'all just to run down on what we doing y'all already seen the title the thumbnail look good look juicy you came in to see what i got going on so today we doing racks of lamb. You see the little rack? So if y'all see the little seasoning and all that on there already, I done marinated 24 hours already. So yesterday I started off, you gotta marinate this thing, y'all. So to get the little gaminess out the back of your mouth, like you don't want the game to hit the back of the throat, you gotta marinate these things for four hours with some apple cider vinegar. Make them real juicy, real tender perfection. Then you take that out, rinse it off. Then you put your marinade on. So what I marinated with, I got a little teriyaki sauce, had a little garlic salt, and salt and pepper. And then what it looked like. So before I put it in the oven, what we're gonna do is we're gonna preheat the oven to 450. 450, we're gonna do it for 15 minutes on each side. So, let me get the oven prepped, and when I get all this ready, y'all gonna be done. So, hold on just a second. Okay, y'all, so I'm preheating my oven to full. <laughs> 50. Wow. Y'all, after y'all preheat your oven, you gotta put a little bit more marinade on it. Now, myself, I use the PF Change teriyaki sauce, because you know, PF do its thing. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to add a little bit more sauce to the top of it, just like that. And I'm going to let it sit for another 30 minutes, probably not that long. My hands is clean. My hands is clean. I wash my hands. If I didn't, it's my food anyway. Okay, so just rub that in like that right there. And then you let that sit while your oven preheat. So now we letting our lamb rest, let it get marinated. We got our oven preheating. We gonna let all this do what it do, get the little flavors, the juices and all that. And no, I did not uh, French. I did not French my uh, lamb. I kept the fat on there cause you know the fat add that juiciness, that flavor, and that's what we want. So to keep it all juicy and contained, I did not French them. I just marinate them and we gonna put them in the oven. We roasting these joints. We ain't grilling, we roasting. So, when I let get down with the oven preheat, y'all gonna see what we going on. Okay, yeah. guys, now the oven is at 450. Remember to have it at 450 degrees. So, we're gonna do that good stuff. So, here, here are the lambs. These are the lambs, and please be sure to have them back side, meaty side down, because you wanna cook them just like this. 15 minutes on this side and 15 minutes on the other side. So you can have that good, medium, well, well, medium, well done. Okay. Because even after that, it's going to be cooking just a little bit more. So what we're going to do is, you're going to open up your oven. And you're going to pop it in there. Let's go, guys. Follow me to the oven. Make sure you put it on the top rack. Ooh, you hear it sizzling. The pan's a little wet. So, yeah, you put it in there. Close it. And I'm going to set my timer. Because I like to stay time managed. 15 minutes and we're going to be back. We just took it out the oven at a good 145 on the temperature. It's golden brown. As you see, it's golden. It's got this caramelized thing. So this is the thing. When you take it out the oven, do not cut it directly. Like, just let it rest. Let it sit. You know what I'm saying? 
because we're not trying to have no uncooked, uneven thing. So what we're going to do is, I ain't got no aluminum for all, so I'm going to use the, uh, the saran wrap. We're going to get the saran wrap, people, and we're going to cover the lambs. We're going to cover the lambs just like that. And we're going to let this rest. Hold on. Let it rest. Okay? We're going to let that rest. And while this is resting, I'm going to get my pan together to cook my uh, lo mein noodles. See, this is going to be the combination that we're cooking today. We're going to have the rack of lambs and we're going to have lo mein noodles with a little teriyaki sauce. So, basically, is get, get, I, I ain't got no stir fry pan, so we're just going to use what I got. So, what we're going to do, we're going to put a little teriyaki drizzle in the bottom of the pan. You know, just a little something, a little razzle dazzle. Ain't too much. You know what I'm saying? I got my noodles over here. Let it get hot first, okay? Let it get hot. About two, three, four, five, ten seconds. Then we're gonna add the noodles. You know what I'm saying? Get that in now. And it's basically like stir fry noodles. You wanna know, noodle the sauce? Make sure the noodle and sauce ratio is, you know, adaptable to your liking. You're gonna stir it in and just like that. Look how that sauce, that sauce, just the went in there, the noodles, they yanked up that sauce. You feel me? All right, so boom. All right, so we're gonna let that simmer for like two, three, four, five minutes. <laughs> <laughs> no, but for real though, let it simmer for about three to four minutes. And then when we come back, we're going to show y'all plate and what it's going to look like. So, y'all enjoyed this video so far, you know what I'm saying? This is my first time cooking lamb and putting this little combination together. So, comment down below if y'all done had this before or not, whatever the case. So, when I cut it and I get these noodles done, y'all can see what I got going on. So, boom, be back. So now that we're gonna let the lamb rest it for a good 15, 20 minutes. Now it's time to cut the lamb. We're gonna start off. Just go with the brain. There we go. Chill to get your plan. See how see how that looks guys? Looks all juicy and stuff. Yeah, those are nice. Those are good medium, well done, good looking lambs off the chain so what i'm finna do is what i'm finna do is i'm finna finish cutting these and then i'm gonna show y'all the presentation all right